Welcome everybody to Scottwood Research. This is Patrick talking to you. And in this video, we're going to hook up some audio interface to an iPad. The same would work for an iPhone, I'm assuming. Um, I have three different interfaces here. I have a Focusrite Scarlet 4i4. Then I have the Presonus Audio Box i2. And then we have the Behringer Xenex 302 USB. Just your basic mixer with a little bit of equalizer. This will give you the most flexibility. First, we'll look at the Presonus Audio Box i2. This one's the easiest, ready to go pretty much out of the box. What you'll need is the supplied USB cable. You can plug that in the back. Then what's nice about this one is that we can just use a standard uh, USB charger. And I'm going to plug that into an outlet. And it's powered up. So then we take our other USB cord. And that's going to go in the back. up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. So I'm going to turn on the iPad. There's my pretty girlfriend. Punch in my code. I've already got I or uh, GarageBand pulled up. And right now you can it's getting a signal, you can see it, but that's just using the mic from the iPad. So I've got my USB cable plugged into the back of the audio box. Now I'm going to plug this now into there. The light stopped blinking. Our phantom power light turned on. And it's asking me if I want to turn on modern monitoring, which I do. Right now there's no signal because I do not have my mic hooked up. So I hook up my microphone. Gain's turned down, turn the gain up. And then now we can see that our microphone is picking up the signal. And you can also see that using the interface, the signal is a lot stronger. So that's the audio box I2 ready to go out of the box. With the focus right, you're going to need more gear. First, what you're going to need is a powered USB hub. You can get these online, probably anywhere. So it's got four powered hubs plus a charging hub on the end. And you're going to need that. Then what you're going to need is this here, a uh, USB adapter. And what I'm going to do is plug this adapter into the powered USB hub. Then I'm going to plug the adapter into the iPad. And right now it's still picking up a signal just from the mic in the iPad. Now I'm going to use the supply. This one has a, what is that, a C? I don't know. Uh, the supply and USB cord came with the focus, right? This one again has two inputs in the front with gain control, uh, line out, line in. So basically you have four ins and mini in and out. Here's our US, oops, wrong plug. Plug that in there. Plug this into our hub. 
in any one of those. Put the wire out of the way. Turn on our power. Lights go on. USB light stays on. I tried it with just the uh, a regular charger and it was not enough power. It just blinked. Now, it's asking me to turn on the device connect. Turn that on. Monitoring. There's no signal because I have no mic plugged in. I'm using condenser mic, so I want to turn on the phantom power. Turn my gain down. Plug the microphone in. Now, we should start seeing the... Uh, the monitor the levels rise yes we also we have a kind of a clip meter on the interface itself and then we can also see the level in the uh, garage band so now we're ready to record with this interface okay the Behringer is going to need the same kind of setup we need our adapter Plug the adapter into the USB of the powered hub. Plug that into the iPad. What's cool about this, you have a little bit more flexibility. You got some kind of equalizing. You got the mix, you got different inputs, XLR, gain, and uh, Oh, that's the main mix. You got, you've got a level, but then you've also got the gain, so you got a lot more control with this thing. So we're gonna plug our USB into there. I got a lot of cord here I don't really need. Plug this into a powered slot. Turn the power on. asking us to turn on the monitoring which we want to do plug our microphone in turn our gain our level and our gain up and there we go power lights on some kind of gain control here so you got a lot more flexibility so that's how you hook up this one this hookup should be relatively the same for most USB class compliant devices. Well, I hope that helps out everybody. Uh, I know using an interface has helped Robin and I quite a bit, especially in her uh, voiceovers and when she's working down in the glass shop. So until the next one, take care of yourselves and we'll see you real soon.